Hi, my name is Joey Remini from seekingbalance.com.au. I'm a vestibular audiologist and today I want to talk with you about triple PD or persistent postural perceptual dizziness. So this is a vestibular condition where all of your medical results are normal. The MRI, the CT scan, blood tests, hearing tests, vestibular tests. And in the old days, this was called chronic subjective dizziness or psychogenic dizziness. And people would often say, I feel like it's all in my head or the doctor's saying it's all in my head, like, am I crazy? And the answer is no, you're not crazy. So the dizzy signals are coming because there's a mismatch in the neural messages being sent from your ears to your eyes, through your brain and your spinal column. So we have a huge amount of balance information traveling at a rapid rate through our body 24 seven. And if there's errors in any of those pathways, then yeah, you can feel vertigo. You could feel rocking, pushing, pulling, astronaut, disconnected or disembodied feelings. Whatever you feel is real and there is a neural pathway generating that feeling. So there, a lot of the recovery process for this condition is about learning how to reset those neural pathways using neuroplasticity. So some of the triggers for this can be you might, may have a, a bout of positional vertigo, BPPV, or vestibular migraine, or many ears, or an inner ear infection, or even just a fall or a knock to the head or something that's a shock. So it can start with a physical mechanical problem in the ear, but it doesn't naturally resolve. So it, it lingers and persists, thus the name of the condition. And this can be because it's so scary what we feel that we, we push it away, we suppress it, we medicate it, we numb it, and we don't want to feel it. But in pushing away the dizzy signals, we're actually preventing the brain from reorganizing it and rearranging it and remapping it. So a large part of the recovery process is learning how to feel safe in your body and to support yourself through building new sensory pathways. So it is possible to reset back to totally normal. There will be a very customized program you will need to design for yourself to achieve that. And if you're not sure about your diagnosis, absolutely talk with your doctor, get an opinion. Many people find that um, with this condition find that computer screens trigger them or walking down a supermarket with um, lots of colorful products or ocean movements or moving objects. So it can be like a real sensitive to visual stimuli. And you can imagine how debilitating that could be in daily life. And many people with this condition get to the point of being unemployed and a very low self-esteem. So I want to encourage you to reach out. There is a physical, mental, emotional and spiritual aspect to recovery. The sensations you're feeling are real, you're not imagining it, and there is support out there for you. So go to vestibular.org if you're looking for resources. There are people like myself who can support you through the neuroplasticity therapy and the process to resetting your system and helping you understand your body and what you're feeling in the meantime to help ease anxiety or depression. So I wanna wish you all the best. Reach out and get the support you need. It's a bye for now, but I really hope you feel better sooner rather than later.